Alrighty, folks. Um, as you can see, I'm in the fur shed. I'm just working on some uh, beaver here, taking them off the boards. Um, but what I'm going to tell you today is uh, this next episode. It isn't on my line. I went over to uh, a fellow I know by the name of Joe Boomhauer, and I went and seen how him and his partner Kevin trapped their beaver under the ice, and. Uh, the numbers that they put up is uh, phenomenal for under the ice beaver trapping. So I just thought I'd go out and make a video of that and share that with you. So anyway, folks, stay tuned to see what I got for you. Okay, ciao for now. Morning, folks. <clears throat> just cruising uh, east on the number seven highway. Going to meet the. Uh, up with Mr. Joe Boomhauer and uh, on this episode it's gonna be some beaver trapping under ice so stay tuned folks this is gonna be a good one little treat for you alrighty okay ciao for now okay folks here we are I made it to my destination and uh, here you go Joe and Kevin hi I'm Joe Boomhauer hi Kevin Hayes we're partners at the beaver country right on so we're gonna go out and we're gonna check some traps today folks and hopefully have 30 beaver plus nice so I'll just give you a little tour around this is Joe's fur shed trap shack and we're just getting ready to go mount up and go for a little cruise so alrighty folks I'll turn these on at the first stop okay ciao for now Alrighty folks, we're at the first location. The beaver cleavers are in action. Fucking geese. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Spring's coming. So Joe, you just hang them over the holes, eh? Yep. A couple inches off bottom. That is cool. Well, you had some poly entrances here by the looks of her. Yep. Got one there, Kevin? Oh, what's going on? Oh, snap. Look, man. Just snap, right? Yeah, you're sprung. Ready, guys. We're going to turn these off here when we land something here. We'll turn these back on. Ciao for now. Well, there's a start. There's one on the ice right there. How many are you at right now, Joe, you say? 176. All through the ice. That's a lot of beaver through the ice, boys and girls. Yes, sir. Right on. Okay, there's going to be more to follow. Stay tuned, folks. Here we are, folks. Now there's the same house. Expected another catch here. Joe's about to fish him out. Oh yeah, there he is, Corker. But what, a two-year-old? Yep. Nice. What do you figure's in this house anyway, Joe? Again. Nice. Oh, no worries. All right, we're gonna beat out the last trap, so. So far, we got two on board. Long day ahead of us yet, folks. As you can see, folks, see where he's standing? There's not even an inch of ice there. Beware if you're gonna trap beavers. Have your life jacket on. 
Pat. Okay. Turn these on a bit. Ciao for now. There we go, folks. Chainsaw Beaver. Baby slack. See all the ice and on? Yeah, that's the beavers. Yeah. Yes, sir. See that, folks? That curve on that ice? Excellent. I'll turn these back on when we get into setting. All right, Joe's going to rig up one of his snare poles now. You put bait on that too, Joe? No. No? I can, but I have just a good luck without it. Okay, you just set that now as like in their channel, right? To yep. trap them just like a corner bear. Yep. Okay, gotcha. I could be out here just in lawn joints today. Homemade locks, 564's cable, two double furls, two double furls. Gonna give them a little tweak and then you're in the races. Average ten inch loop, Joe? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Roughly the same size as Bob and eight quart pail. What they call the pole of death, right there, that folks.
Just like that, folks. Wire her off. He's putting one snare on. No. Someone jump up and down on the house quick, see if one will come out. We've caught quite a few this year, like Yeah? That'd be cool if that happens today. Well, perfect. Alrighty, guys, when we start setting the corner bears, we'll uh, turn these back on. Ciao for now. Alright, Joe, now just to explain now, you're just you're hanging with wires, you two, right? Yeah. So there's the trap on the wires. Yeah. Bend your wire over and that's it. Bend your wire over and that's it. Wow, that is slicker. Mm -hmm. That is slick. Could you want to toss me my yacht, please? Yeah, that was ready. Yeah. There we go. And what Kevy got over here, he's got one, two, three, Looks like he's four. Still on top over five in a minute. Five, yeah. No, I see the remaking of Orca as he goes in to drink there. I know. Like that guy there that slid off the iceberg. <laughs> yeah. Now, Kevin, you had to spread your springs out a little bit, eh? Because yeah. it's shallow. Shallow water. Yeah. So that's what they do there, guys. Well, right on. Well, if they have any new and approved sets, I'll be sure to turn these on. Ciao for now. Alrighty, guys, here we go. This is the third house. We're starting the haul. There's one. And he just hangs them on them wires, folks. There's, look at that, right by the paw. Couldn't get any luckier than that. Two. That's the beauty of them. Two eighties. Yeah. That's a magnum trap for you right there. That's why they hold them beaver. Feels like it. Looks like water Maybe it's an otter. Maybe it's them. Maybe. Oh, shut up, Fred. <laughs> Fred's starting trouble. Right, that was a good otter. Oh, it was. The back of his neck is like skin and raw. Yeah. That's where I always have the problem, right? The back of the neck. It's getting started. I just close skin mine so when I come to it, it's just normal. And what do we have? Any winner, winner, chicken dinner. What do you got there, Kevy? Oh, I see beaver face. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. What a smasher. <laughs> Maybe we run into kittens in this area. Yeah, well, it's... Oh, well. You're racking them up. So right now, folks, we have 10 aboard. And this is the third house. 11. 11? We have 11 aboard. Oh, and we got one, well, we were gonna pull that one out of the ice. We're cheating. <laughs> Tell you folks, if you're seeing anything right now, just see how slick this is. They just hang them out just two inches off a of bottom, and they're just spanking the hair right off them. <laughs> yeah, it is. To, it's the trap and all this stuff. Blowing me away, and the boys are spanking them. Uh oh, we have we we have a big we have a big beaver here, folks. Well, he could have been swimming with a stick like that other one done to me and Joe. 
I think his tail's frozen under the ice, Kevin, right where your foot is. I know, pretty deep here, though. Well, once again, it's that trapper self-love. We love to do it to ourselves all the time. Makes you come back for another day. Careful of the language, I guess sensitive viewers. All that for that? Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay, I folks. The beaver and the prettiest one. Yeah, all right. Three kids, one adult. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now. Alrighty, folks. Right now we're setting up. 17. What do you think, Freddie? I think 17 is a good number. So I think 17 is a good yeah, number. It's under T20 right now. Yeah, well, we got some, we got a fish on here. Joe's going to blast them out of that hole there. Hole of death coming through. Yep. The beaver cleaver. Mm -hmm. Oh, what we got here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's around a pole or something down there, isn't he? No, I might have to pop halfway around the body. Pulling him sideways. Self love. Yum. I had a good drink there. Okay. Well, yeah. Good stuff too, eh? Yeah, that is. That yellow water. Shit for a week. Uh oh. Well, there's nine, possibly 19, folks. We're setting up this little spot. Jerk on them, next thing you know, you pull yeah. up. Yeah. With no beaver. No beaver. Yeah. Oh, there's a tail. Oh, that's a good sight. That is a good one. He froze to the ice, Joe. Oh, he got him. There's one. Right around the center. See how he screwed that those snares up? Mm-hmm. Or they weren't catching them. Nice. Ooh, Another nice. big one. one. Right on the 19 folks. Okay. Ooh. Over now. Yeah. Alrighty. Four more for the good guys. So what's that put us at now? 20 what? Three. 23. And nine big fellas out of that house. That's the size they've been getting out of that house. They got five their last trip. So that's nine they took out of this house, the big ones. Crazy. Yeah. Hanging them on wires on the entrances. Gotta love it. Hey, Joe. Yeah, it's not a bad day. Yeah. I love it. Not gonna love it when you just get them all. <laughs> right on, ciao for now.
Last trap of the day, folks. We're setting at 27 beaver, an otter, and we're picking up a fisher on the way home. Still set, Joe? Oh, I can't tell. He's gone. Yeah, here we go, folks. We're going to see the unorthodox leg hole set. Yeah, Hammett, the otter, otter number two of the day. It, <laughs> that looks more like a mink, though. That's my favorite beaver set right there. Yes, One sir. Look at that, guys, with a big chunk of weight on her. 30 pound weight. <laughs> <laughs> Right on. Okay, guys. We get something else, we'll turn these back on. Chop it out. All right, guys. There we are. There's the day's catch. How you feel, Kevin? Tired. <laughs> Joe, how about yourself? Uh, I feel good until I get busy here in the office. Yeah. What's the count today, boys? 27. Beaver, which makes 202 yep. total. Two, Two water, water and a fisher that still might make it outside. Yeah, we're trying to let go of Fisher, folks. So if she makes her, she makes her. I'm not going to film her because we're trying to revive her. And anyway, we're going to try to let her go. But yeah, that's what you call an epic day of trapping beaver under the ice. Thanks a lot for having me, guys. You're welcome. Come anytime. No problem. You bet. Okay, ciao for now, folks.